Well, a group calling themselves the Mobile Muslims is rolling through Ottawa today on a mission to educate Canadians about Islam. With more, we're joined by spokesperson James St. Clair. This is a very cool thing that you guys are doing. It's a 40-day tour. You're kind of halfway through, would you say? Uh, a little less, yeah. A little less than halfway through. Can you tell us what it's all about? Sure. So we're actually starting with celebrating 50 years in Canada as a community, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, uh, mm -hmm. who believe in the promised Messiah. We've been in Canada now for 50 years. And to celebrate our 50 years in Canada, we wanted to do a coast-to-coast -to -coast tour. Okay. And so why did you think something like this was important? Do you think there's still a lot of misconceptions about the Islamic faith? It's, it's, a, it's a key time right now because Islam is a very provocative topic in the media. Mm -hmm. And we're actually just trying to educate people who have these misconceptions that Islam is associated with terror. Okay. And we want to let everybody know that it's not. It's completely removed from the faith. So how does it work? You have a mobile truck that's just kind of going around town to town? That's about it. We stop city to city. Uh, on our way, we started in Newfoundland. We're going to go as far as Vancouver. And uh, yeah. And so what's the reception been like by the people you've talked to so far? Well, we just made it through the Atlantic provinces in Quebec, and it was really good. We were warmly received everywhere we went, and we got really good questions, really good conversations with people who wanted to know more about Islam. And what are kind of some of the conversations or topics that people are interested in? It, it starts provocative, and then from there we work our way into educating people and helping them understand that the things in the media aren't always accurate, mm -hmm. and uh, that Islam is really not associated with violence or terror at all. It's a religion of peace. And you yourself, you converted. Why did you want to convert to the Islamic faith? Well, after studying it and, and doing my own independent research, I realized that there's a lot of truth in Islam. And anybody who would take the time to research it and study it themselves, they'd find the same as well. Okay, so let's talk about some of those misconceptions. What are questions that people generally ask you? Uh, people ask about big words like jihad and things like that, mm -hmm. for example. And uh, they ask about the possible oppression of women in these things. But we, we, we actually help people understand that what you hear about Islam isn't always true. For example, jihad is an internal struggle. It has nothing to do with a violent uh, attack or anything like that. It's, okay. it's actually each individual person has an individual jihad. And after you have these conversations, do you find they leave a lot more educated and kind of understanding what Islamic faith is about? A hundred percent. We have people coming up as Trump voters and they leave not as Trump voters. So. <laughs> and where are you guys going to be here in Ottawa today? We're going to be in the Byward Market all day. Okay, and so people can just come and check you out? Yes. And where do you head after Ottawa? Uh, after Ottawa, we're going to make our way further east, sorry, further west. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to Prescott. Uh, then from there, we're going to head to, I think Kingston's our next stop. Great. And then down to Toronto. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us today. You guys are also on Twitter as well. People That's can cool. find you in there. Thank you so much, James, for joining us today. Again, they're going to be in the Byward Market today, so it's really, really cool. You can step inside and you can check it out. And They have lots of books and, of course, lots of people here to help you understand Islam.